Hi, welcome back to my channel, She She Magic. Today I am working on what started out as only being a palette garden, ended up being a complete formation of my little condo patio. And everything I do here on this project is renter friendly and HOA friendly because nothing is actually affixed to the permanent structure of the patio, which homeowners associations don't really like when you modify their properties. So I picked up a pallet from out back of my work that was just gonna get thrown away. I tried to find one that looked nice and was in good shape and didn't look like it had too many chemicals and whatnot spilled on it. And this one just happened to fit perfectly without me even measuring. It was just a lucky coincidence right on the side wall and the inside part of my patio. I sanded the heck out of it because it was super rough and splintery and I knew that I was going to be working closely with it as I was planting plants and whatnot for the duration of its existence on my patio. So I wanted it to be smooth plus I wanted it to look nice. And I lined the inside of the sections of the palette with screen material. I was going to get landscape fabric, but I got this screen material for window screens because I liked the color. And I ended up doubling it up so dirt would not um, just easily wash through it. I bought my first little set of plants that I intended to plant. But after having them on my patio for just a few days and watering them only a couple of times, they left such bad water marks and water rings and dirt marks on my 30-year-old porous, ugly concrete on the patio that I decided I better stain and seal this concrete. My next cool thing that happened that I wasn't anticipating, I got two chunks of travertine slab material for free from my amazing countertop fabricator because I work in the kitchen and bath design field. And I got some plywood to back it with because travertine is very fragile. And I got a little sample of paint that I color matched from a chip off of my stucco. And I painted the plywood and adhered it to the bottom of the travertine slab. And then I affixed brackets to it so I can lift the slabs on and off the walls of my patio. So they're not permanently fixed to the structure of the patio, which is great for renting. So they are temporary, but they are heavy. They look like they're permanent. And I used some garage door trim along the sides to cover up the brackets that I cut down to size so that they wouldn't be seen under the trim. And I am super happy with the little countertops that I have out there. They made the space just so much more usable. And I love the fact that they look almost the same color as the stucco. So they just blend right in, but make the space just super user friendly. I of course sealed the travertine with several coats of a sealer and in between coats I used a fine steel wool to get out all the lumps and bumps of just ragging it on and it turned out really great.
Then the fun part is planting all the plants. I, of course, filled up all of the sections with potting soil and planted, planted, planted. And I have gone through a couple of phases already of planting. I've planted lettuce. I just recently planted some strawberries. I've harvested the lettuce. I'm pretty much decided I'm going to do mostly just flowers and maybe some herbs, maybe some more lettuce, but I'm really happy with my strawberries. I also devised a little watering system. It's very experimental. Not sure how it's going to work, but I needed something to make sure the water got all the way down to the bottom. So I took a couple of plastic water bottles and cut them and added some tubing to the bottom with hot glue and used a broom handle to make a hole down and just shove those tubes down so now I can just pour water open end of the water bottle and the water goes down to the bottom sections of the pallet garden. I bought a few little solar lights so my patio looks charming at night as well. I just absolutely love hanging out out here. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you liked it and subscribe for more out-of-the-box projects. See you on the next one.